In this video, I will demonstrate Kaltura's bulk upload options and will walk through the steps for creating, submitting and tracking the progress of bulk upload jobs. Uploading content in bulk can give great benefit when migrating high volume of content uh, into a new account in Kaltura, but also and mainly on an ongoing basis to streamline the ingestion and publishing process. It can be used to import uh, many media files that are hosted on another system while also populating the metadata fields automatically so there's no need to enter them manually from the KMC. It could also be used as an option for uploading very large files which cannot be uploaded from the desktop via the KMC. There are two methods and two file formats for uh, uploading content in bulk into Kaltura. The first and more simple format is structure within a CSV file and the second and more advanced uh, option is to use an XML formatted file which allows better extendability uh, for serving uh, specific account settings and more complex uh, workflows. From the KMC, it's possible to download uh, samples of uh, these two file formats for bulk upload. Uh, you can either download them from the dashboard or also from the upload menu. Just click the download CSV XML samples here. I will briefly review uh, the steps for editing uh, the CSV file. So this is the sample I just downloaded from the KMC and as you can see there are a couple of uh, commented line with some guidelines on how to populate the uh, metadata fields. There's this special uh, definition line, this line is mandatory uh, and basically it lists the names of the field that uh, the fields that will be processed uh, with this bulk upload uh, job and each line underneath this definition line will basically create an entry in Kaltura and if I extend this a little bit uh, you can see that with this sample we already populated uh, the title of each uh, content uh, file description, a couple of tags we want to add as metadata and the URL itself where the media file uh, should be imported from. So this can be either an HTTP or FTP location and it's also possible to include the credentials uh, for this location in the URL of course. Uh, the content type should be indicated as well. In this case uh, all files are video files and within the sample there are a couple of uh, empty fields just as an example. This can be populated if needed or removed if not. I'm now putting a couple of edits into this uh, file. I'm basically removing columns that are not uh, needed and let's add a category path to one of the files and let's also populate scheduling start date and end date. And let's remove these other columns that are not needed. And now I want to populate a couple of fields from a custom data schema that I predefined on my account. So I take the profile ID, this is the schema ID from the KMC, and I enter the names of a couple of custom data fields that I created, and also the values of these fields. Uh, the CSV format support only one schema uh, per line. Uh, this is a little bit limited but uh, maybe sufficient for most of the simple uh, cases. So I'm done editing and I will save it now 
as a template uh, basically I create I can create a couple of templates uh, for different workflows and use those templates every time uh, with some changes of course uh, in the files that are being uploaded etc so let's jump uh, to review uh, very quickly the XML format. Uh, so this is the sample I just downloaded from the KMC a minute ago and here as well there are a couple of uh, guidelines on how to use this XML format and more importantly a link to a clear uh, definition of the schema of this uh, bulk upload XML. This page also includes uh, a very descriptive uh, information on the elements and the structure of this uh, XML. So just to show you uh, the basic information within this sample. So every uh, bulk upload XML is wrapped with an MRSS element and Inside of this uh, MRSS element, there's a channel element, and each channel element can uh, contain one or multiple item elements, where each uh, item element is basically an entry in Kultura. Uh, as you can see here, we added an action element. Uh, this is not available in the CSV, so basically, uh, it's possible not only to add new entries uh, with this XML format but also to update existing entries uh, and basically as I said before the structure uh, of this uh, XML is dictated by the schema uh, uh, that we defined and basically there are a couple of basic metadata and a couple of uh, account specific metadata items that are uh, more flexible uh, than uh, the structure uh, within the CSV. So if I take uh, the URL for the schema definition from the sample and go to that page, so basically I can download the full schema uh, from here. This uh, will include uh, the schema itself and documentation and some samples. And these documentation and sample are also available here within this uh, table format. So every element is listed here. Uh, for example, the item element I showed you uh, within the sample every sub-element uh, is listed with a short description uh, indication on whether this item, uh, this sub-element is required or not and what are the maximum uh, appearances uh, for this specific sub-element and whether any restrictions apply to it. There are a couple of choice uh, sub-element. For example, uh, you can either put access control ID or access control system name. And basically, for the more uh, complex uh, element types, there's a drill down to a more uh, detailed information. So, for example, if I go to the content assets, a sub element I get here into a drill of uh, information about this and I can drill even further uh, until I get uh, to an actual sample that I can copy and paste into my XML. So this uh, can be very useful when creating your uh, basic templates for uh, bulk upload XMLs. So once we finished editing uh, our CSV or XML file for bulk upload, uh, it's very easy to submit those uh, through the KMC. So from the upload menu, just click the submit CSV uh, or XML, select the file uh, you want to submit. This is the CSV template I was creating uh, during this video session. I will select it. And that's it. 
uh, I get this message telling me I can track the progress of my uh, bulk upload job and I will go to the bulk upload uh, log page now uh, I go to the upload control uh, link and I switch to the bulk upload log page and here I can see uh, the status of my current upload uh, job and also a couple of old older uh, jobs which fail uh, basically I can uh, maybe already see some progress within the status of my uh, bulk upload processing while this is a uh, processing I can show you that also XMLs uh, triggered tasks are uh, being listed here and these are a couple of errors I got when I created uh, my sample once a job uh, finished processing or failed uh, with the processing it's possible to delete it from this log uh, and also to download uh, the original uh, file or to download a log file uh, if we go back to the uh, entries table we can already see that uh, all of the jobs are ready uh, all of the entries uh, actually are ready uh, other options for submitting uh, the bulk upload files are uh, through the API itself so in a programmatic way it's possible to create uh, either scheduled uh, processes that uh, pull uh, content from a specific location it's possible also to drop uh, an XML uh, with metadata and references to media files into Kaltura's drop folders. As you can see this is quite simple and once you create a couple of good XML or CSV templates you can really start using them in your day-to-day -day work. I hope this session was informative and useful. Thank you very much.